Hello everyone, welcome to BISP Solutions. I am Preeti, working here as Functional Consultant. So in today's video, we will discuss what is burdening. Burdening provides a buildup of raw and burden cost to represent the total cost of doing business accurately. You can calculate burden cost as a buildup of cost using a precedence of multipliers. Taking the raw cost, Oracle Fusion project costing performs a buildup of burden cost on raw cost to provide a true representation of cost. Using burdening, you can perform internal costing, revenue accrual and billing for any type of burden cost that your company applies to raw cost. So these are the formulas for calculating the burdening cost. For calculating the burden cost, you have to multiply the burden multiplier to raw cost and then for calculating the total burden cost, you have to add the raw cost to burden cost. Burden cost is indirect cost and the raw cost is direct cost. Burden cost is the terminology that you use in Oracle Fusion. Now we will discuss burdening cost buildup. The burden structure are assigned to the burden schedule version determines whether calculations are additive or based on the precedence assigned to each cost code. A burden structure can be additive or precedence based. Now what is additive and precedence? Additive. An additive burden structure applies each burden cost code to the raw cost in the appropriate cost base. Precedence. A precedence burden structure is cumulative and applies each cost code to the running total of the raw cost burden with all previous codes. Now, for performing the burdening task in the Oracle Fusion application, you have to perform four tasks. One is burdening cost base. Second is burden cost code. Third is burdening structure. And the last one is burden schedules. Now we will discuss what are these four tasks meant for? So first we will discuss burden cost base. You use burden cost base in burden structures to group the burden cost codes with the expenditure types to which they will be applied. As a result, you need to create burden cost base to support each unique grouping of burden cost codes and expenditure types. Next is burden cost codes. Burden cost codes are created for each type of burden that will be applied to raw cost. In this example, assume that labor raw cost are burden with fridge, benefits, overhead and administrative cost. Material raw cost are burden with material, handling fees and administrative cost. Expenses are burden only with administrative cost. When you will create these burden cost base and burden cost codes, you have to assign both of them in the burden structure. So now what is burden structure? Burden structure group expenditure types into cost base and establish the method of applying burden cost. Additive burden structure apply each burden cost to raw cost and precedence burden structure are cumulative and apply each cost code to the running total of raw cost. Burden with preceding cost codes. Now you have to assign the burden structure into burden schedules. Now what is burden schedule? Burden schedule establish multipliers for calculating the burden cost of expenditure items. Assign multipliers to organization and burden cost code combination to specify the amount by which to multiply the raw cost to obtain the burden amount. Now this is the burden structure format you can see here. This is the cost base that is labor. Now burden cost codes that is related to labor administrative fringe benefits overhead and when you talk about the expenditure type you can see here related expenditure types to labor that is professional clerical sales in the same way we can see for material and expense now we will move to our application to see how it is practically done and how the configuration for burdening can be done in the oracle fusion application now go to setup and maintenance Select the offering here as Project Financial Management. Go to Project here in the burdening. You can see here 
the task cost base cost codes burden structures burden schedules now we will start with the first one so click on manage burden cost base for creating the new one you have to click on this add icon Here you have to give the report order. The system is taking it automatically. So here is the explanation. Reports sort cost basis first by reporting order and then by cost, cost based name. Now here you have to mention the cost based type. So what is cost based type? You can see the explanation. Use burden cost type for burden calculations. The uh, other burden cost types to group expenditure types. So if you will select the burden cost here, it will help in burden calculation. And if you select the other, then it will group in expenditure type. Now here you have to take the date of start. So it is system is taking today's date by default. Now click on save and close. So this is how you can create the burden cost base. Now let, let move to our next task that is manage burden cost codes. Click on add. Like the expenditure type here. Let's add one more. Now click on save and close. This is how you can create the manage burden cost codes. Now let's create the structure where we can assign the cost basis and cost codes. So these are the already created structures. Now for creating a new one, you have to click on this add icon. Now the, we have discussed in our slide additive and precedence. So here you can select how you want to calculate your burden cost additive or precedence. In the precedence, it will work in the cumulative way and in the additive, it will work in the straight way. Say I'm taking here additive. Now, here you can see it is asking for cost base assignment. So the one we have created will be assigned here. Select your cost base. So this is our cost base selected here. Now here you have to give the cost base assignment details which includes burden cost codes. Click on add icon. Select the burden cost code. You can see here the two we created are visible here. And you can see the precedence here. If we have, would have been selected here the precedence, it would have asked you the precedent percentage here. Now click on add row. Now click on expenditure type. So this is how we can create the structure. Now click on save and close. And now move to our next task that is burden schedules. Here you have to assign your structure that you have created. So these are the already created schedule for creating a new one. Click on this add icon.
Now in the type, you can select firm or provisional. When you are confirmed about the multipliers, you can select the firm. And if you are still in the mood to make any changes in the multipliers, you have to select the provisional one. Say I can uh, make any changes in the future. So I am taking it as uh, provisional. Now here you have to select the burden structure. So I am taking it as 22 burden structure that we have created now. And here you have to select the organization hierarchy. I am using the system defined hierarchy here. Select the version. Now here you have to give the burden schedule version. Select the start date here. Now these information are system taking automatically from the burden schedule. You can see here. So system is taking it automatically. Now, here it is asking for multipliers. Click on add icon. Select the organization here. Select the burden cost. And give the multiplier here. Say I am taking it as 0.15. That means it is 15%. So this is how you can create the burden schedule and here you can mention your multiplier. Click on save and close. So this video is all about the burdening task. Thank you so much for watching the video.